Hey there, I'm Dave, the Notion Coach, and in this video, we're taking a look at the notes template. A link is in the description below, how it works and how to organize our notes in notebooks and also how to use features like the inbox and archive to make sure that your notes stay organized and we don't end up with super long lists of notes that we don't know where they are or if they're still useful. So let's jump in. And this is the download page. So we've got a few things here. And then also I'm releasing a masterclass. It's gonna be an email based course where we deep dive on different ways to use notes, whether it's for setting intentions for projects, creating like a gratitude journal. There's a lot of different ways we could apply notes in your Notion workspace. So that course really just kind of dives into how that might work and then also what other databases we might tie into that are already existing in your workspace. And if you've heard of or used Manifest, my other premium template, you know that it really just relies on connecting databases in the right way to make sure that we're only seeing the information that is most important at any given time. So something to consider there. And then also I'm working on Notion Creators Community. Really excited about this, just having a space where we could kind of deep dive on Notion's new features and applications of um, how they might elevate your workspace. But if you're interested in that, those links are below. So if we go into the template, so there's two main pages here. There's a template and the demo page. The demo page is where we're just going to kind of create some new notebooks and some notes and kind of see how all of this works. But just to get a sense of how this template is organized, we've got two databases here, notebooks and notes. So notebooks is if we open up one of these and we expand on these properties, we'll see here that there's tags that you can apply to them and the relation to the notes database. So if we go back into the notes database, let's open one of these as an example. There's a few more properties that we're that are applied to the notes database that are working in different ways. So first, we also have tags. There's a description. So if you use a gallery view, you could add a description and make that visible. And then also the notebook that it's applied to, created when it was last edited, and then checkboxes for inbox and archive. So and then there's a template here that if we do color code the system, like if you've if you've seen the the feature image, like there's notebooks in different colors we would duplicate this template to either have different icons for different notes or kind of make those customizations there. But that's pretty straightforward in terms of the two databases. And the rest of the space is really just linked views of the of those two databases. So here we've got a simple list view of all of our notebooks. So this as you create more notebooks, this will get longer and make sure that that's reflected there. And then in the main notes view, there's two key views, but we could potentially imagine more of these. The first one being all of our notes that are organized by when they were last edited. So we're only seeing the name of the note here, the last edited date and time. But if we go into the filter, there's a few extra filters that are gonna help us keep this organized and we'll take a look at why. So we can see that sort here, but the two additional filters are the inbox property is unchecked. So as notes move in here, they're automatically, automatically uh, removed from the inbox view. And the same thing goes for archived. So anything that's archived won't show up in this view. The next view is a gallery view, but it's grouped by notebook. So if we go into the properties of this view, we'll see that it's a gallery. And then if we go to group, we'll see here that uh, it's grouped alphabetically alphabetically. So as you have more notebooks with notes, this will continue to expand. But what's nice about this is you collapse any notebooks and really only expand the notebook that you want to see your notes for. And could be pretty helpful, especially if you've been using this for a while and you've got several, many, many different notes, but you still want to navigate. You'll also notice that there's only three notebooks that are showing up here, even though there are more in the notebooks database. And the reason for that is because as you add notes to a notebook, that's when they get populated in this view. So be things like book notes or a building an audience don't have any notes applied to them, so they don't show up in this view. So something to consider and we'll take a look at how this changes over time. And then the other two views are inbox and archive. So simple filter set up here, the inbox is checked. So if we've got a quick idea or a question or thing that we want to refer back to, this is the place to add that note. And then eventually, whether it's 
every couple of days or weekly, move that note into the right notebook, create a new notebook if you need to, or if that note's no longer relevant, archive it and then that'll move it to the archive section. So if we were to go through that workflow, this note, how do you automate emails after, you know, so it's just a question. If I move that to the archive and uncheck this, it's moved to that bottom view, which is the archive. Let's put that back where it was here. So next thing we're gonna do is add a few notebooks, add some notes, move notes from inbox to the main view and see how all of this works together. Okay, so we're in the demo version of the notes template and what I'm gonna do first is create a few new notebooks and start to customize one, some of the ones that are already in the template. So a couple things to note is if you click on the icon within the notebook, you actually don't have to go into the page itself to update the icon. So if I wanted to apply like some color coding, so maybe learning is green, business is red, maybe journaling is blue, I'm gonna update these here. The next thing I wanna do is create a new notebook. So if I create a new notebook here, I can either click the new button or the drop down, which gives me the template. And I could say, if I'm currently taking a course called Build Once, so twice, my course notes, I actually don't need that part. And we could apply the new notebook template, which actually automatically populates this with the filtered view of the notes database. So You'll see here that there's same thing, a gallery view and a list view, but the filter is automatically adjusted to this new notebook. So this is pretty helpful in terms of dropping some notes in here and knowing that it's automatically tied to this notebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a note here and I'm gonna say a question that comes up from the course, automatically tied to that notebook. It's not in my inbox because I've already organized it in this notebook and I'm making this a new note and to get that icon there, and it, it'll now update this main notes view because I've added a note to this new notebook. So again, if you notice, we've only got four notebooks that are visible in this view because these are the only notebooks that contain notes. So all of these other notebooks on the left-hand side are empty, so they don't kind of clutter up this main notes view. Let's go through what this looks like in terms of adding a quick note or idea in the inbox and then moving it into a notebook. So if I go into the inbox view, I can click on the new button and say kind of a question to refer back to later. I can just populate that, close it, and let's say a couple days go by and I'm going through my inbox and want to organize this. There's a couple ways to do it. First, what we wanna do is, I'm gonna update this in the template too, but we're gonna make the default that new note so that we don't have to select it every time. But let's say I wanna go back to this and move this to my website as a notebook. I could go in and drag this into my website and it's automatically removed from the inbox because of the filters that we have set up in this main view, which basically only show notes that are not in the inbox and not archived. Similarly, if I go in and decide to archive some of these notes like website redesign notes, I could click archive and that automatically populates in the archive section and gets removed from that main view. So the key things to keep in this space organized is quickly adding notes in the inbox, regularly moving those notes into the right notebook, creating new notebooks over time based on what you're focusing on and writing about and archiving any notes that are no longer relevant, but you maybe still want to keep a record of in case you do need to go back into that archive and find you know, older notes. In some cases, it might be useful to add additional context so that you don't have to write your entire note as the page title, which could be kind of a little clunky. So if, say we've got this note and we want to add some context, but we want to have that visible in the database view, let's add some notes here to see as an example. So first I'm gonna say clean up. So I've got this description here in this section and let's say we have a new view. Boards typically work a little bit better when it comes to showing properties. So if we go to, let's make these larger and let's show the description. 
So if you notice here, this looks a lot cleaner when it comes to previewing a property like description, which is a text property. And we could also turn on things like the time it was last edited and if there is a notebook that it's tied to and then also adjust how these show up. So maybe the description is last here and, and then we can kind of quickly toggle between those. So there's a lot of flexibility with how we're presenting notes, but the main recommendation I'd make is in this main notes view is where we want to create these views depending on if you're grouping by notebook, if you're creating a board view, just a simple list view, maybe you're sorting in different ways by when they were created or when they were last edited. So being able to kind of toggle back and forth between those views could be pretty helpful to just reorder and reorganize your information. But that's essentially it when it comes to the notes template, two simple databases, notes and notebooks. And again, in the course that I'm launching, we're getting a little bit deeper into other databases you can connect notes to like projects or areas. And the same thing goes for notebooks, how to organize notebooks in a, in a different way so that as we expand on our notes and the number of notebooks, we make sure that it doesn't unravel over time, which is very possible. But if you're interested in the course, you can kind of learn more about that in the description below. But um, essentially that's it. Let me know if you've got any questions. The link to download the template is also below and it's free. So, and if you wanna keep up to date with future Notion updates or free templates, also subscribe to be the first to, uh, to know when these things launch. So that's it. See you in the next video.